Searching and sorting algorithm are the popular algorithms in any programming language and previously we have discussed about the bubble sort and here we are going to discuss about the binary search in Java and how can we implement binary search in Java. So binary search is a search algorithm that finds the position of the target value. For example, in any particular array, you are searching for any element then this particular binary search actually returns you the index or we can say the position of that element. So it returns the target value within a sorted array. That means binary search compares the target value to the middle element of the array. It works only on sorted set of elements that the elements need to be sorted. To use binary search on any particular array, firstly, it needs to be sorted. That array needs to be sorted for implementing a binary sort. This condition you have to remember that the array must be sorted for implementing any particular sorting in such as binary search if you are implementing. Now it has a particular algorithm also for implementing the binary search and that is firstly if we say there is an A array and let's say that this is a sorted array and N could be we say that the size of this array. Next we have the particular value which we want to search it can be said as X that is the element to be searched. This is the element which we need to search. Now it divides the array firstly into low and high. So we are setting the two values. Let's say I'm setting firstly low value as a one and I'm setting the high value as n because I don't know how many number of or the size of array are there particularly. So I'm setting the highest value as the size of that particular array. Now while x is not found, if there arises a condition that this particular x is not there, then what we could do? So while x not found, we can do is in such condition if high is less than low. So this particular condition can never happen in any particular array that the higher elements are less than the low. So it will exit from that particular loop and it will print that this particular x which you are trying to find is not in this particular array. It doesn't exist. Or in search what it is going to do, how it is going to search, firstly it is going to set the mid. Find the mid as low plus high minus low divide by 2. It is going to find the mid and from the mid position it is going to see that if that element is in high or in low then it is going to traverse the left side. If it is in high that means the sorted array it is in higher element of the mid then it is going to traverse on the right side of that particular array or any particular set of elements. So if a mid is less than the low or less than the x element which we are finding. If that is less, then it is going to set the low as mid plus 1. And if A mid is greater than the X, then it is going to set high as mid minus 1. That means if the particular X we are trying to find that is greater than the mid, then it is going to set the low as mid plus 1 and then traverse. And if the mid generated, the middle element is generated that is greater than the X which we are finding, that is going to set high as mid minus 1. And if A mid is the X, that means if in the middle of that particular array there is only an element present, then it is going to print that this is the location found. And this will end the while procedure also and the end the procedure also. So first it is going to compare x with the middle element. If the x matches the middle element of the array then it will return the mid index which is generated. Else if greater than the mid index that if x value is greater than the middle index then x can only lie in the right side of that particular array. Or it will you will recur the particular it will traverse the right half. And if x is smaller than the mid, then it will recur the left half.
this is the simple thing which is going to be happen in the binary search now let us implement a program this is the only concept which has been given in the loops or the any particular method which we create let's say we create a method binary search then this is the method which will be given firstly the mid is calculated and if that element is find in the middle location only then it will return that index if the particular element is greater then the middle index then it will traverse the right side that x can only be in the right side because it is on implementing on a sorted array and if that middle element is smaller if x is smaller than the middle element then it will recur for the left half of the array so now let us see how can we implement a program for it so here you can see that i have firstly implemented a particular method int binary search that is having an array the low high and index the element which i want to find now this is the particular implementation which i have just now discussed that all the logic i have given here and it is going to return if it is equal to the middle then it will return the middle index only if the element is smaller than the mid then it will search the right side of the sub array and if the element is greater that means if it is present in the greater side only we have done the lesser side that means it is going to traverse the left side array and return that particular index or else if the element is not present then it is going to return minus 1 so this is the array which we have given here and the element which we want to find is 40 so i have called this particular method binary search and the indexing all i have given and x is the element which i want to found that is 40 if the result generated is minus 1 then it is going to print that element is not present that we have discussed here if any particular index the element is not here, then it has to reach that element is not present in the array or else it is going to print that element is found is that particular index so i've saved this particular program and now let us execute it so here you can see that the element is found at index 3 here you can see the array at 0th index there is 10 second first index there is 20 second index there is 30 and in the third index there is 40 now let us see if the particular element is not present in the array only then what it returns us so let us save this particular program and then again run this particular file so here you can see it returns us that the element is not present that means the result generated is minus one then it is going to return this particular element is not present in the array. this is how we can implement binary search for a sorted array with the help of java program